Hello and welcome back to EVE Online and this is our Alpha Fintrash and in case you're not familiar with where we are we're in a wormhole I've never flown around a station like this before in fact if I just take it out of cinematic mode could this be the only use for first person mode flying yourself around the station getting some footage for the intro to a YouTube video anyway whoa very maneuverable. I am currently the guest of a corp in a wormhole. So I'm going to bring you lots of good wormhole footage while I'm in here. Um, I've never lived in a wormhole before. So never really been able to deal with them in the way that you can when you're a resident. So it will be very interesting to do so. Now, I've had a bit of a technical issue. I'm having one. Uh, my PC is being very poorly at the moment. Um, particularly in relation to the hard disk drive and the data on it and doing stuff with it. I put this video together just to let you know I'm still alive and well. Um, it's from clips that I've managed to save at the moment. If any of you are technically minded, please help me out. I've got an issue that Movie Maker crashes. Um, if it crashes while it's kind of doing anything with a movie file from the capture, it then corrupts the movie file. So I've actually lost some really good footage completely and I can't figure out what to do about it. It's very odd. I've never had anything quite like that happen before. So anyway, I've got a new um, SSD ordered, which will be here soon. I had to wait till payday, but that's on the way. So you've got a compilation of kills of me and some mates doing low sec stuff to people that come into low sec, basically. No, it's not all quite like that. But yeah, it's small gang stuff. You guys all have opinions on what we should do with PVE people that come into low sec to do their escalations or their ex exploration, etc. And we're all fine to have our opinion. As far as I'm concerned, we are what makes low sec low sec. Um, we're the challenge. And as you'll see from these videos, and if you are a PVP, sorry, a PVE player who, who wants to go into low sec and do your stuff, just watch these videos. Watch how the people in these videos get caught. How much time we're given is all about the D-scan. Anyway, that's enough of my wittering. I just wanted to explain why this will be a little bit cobbled together and hopefully we'll get out to you very, very soon. So I hope you enjoy it. Also, we're over 300 subs, which I'm absolutely chuffed about. I hope they keep coming. I have mentioned a couple of times doing a giveaway. I can't organise that because of the way I hope to do it until my PC is more reliable because it does involve doing some stuff in game with people. But um, there is a, a stash of about 400 millions worth of ships and stuff now that I will think of a way to give away. There you go, we're gonna crash. No, we went straight through that one, fantastic. Anyway, on with the show, I hope you enjoy it. As I say, don't get cross with me because of what we're doing. Um, and I'm also not trying to make out that what you see in these clips is like high-end PVP. It's not. That's one-on-one. -on -one. That's that's little kind of that's its own little science. This is rough housing in low sec and how we do it and how you might avoid it. So here we are and we're combat scanning a VNI that basically I've seen on D scan. Now this is in the afternoon UK time and actually watch the time. Um, so I probably spotted this guy about two o'clock, and the time does have kind of a relevance because I'd like you to admire our patience if nothing else. We're basically just uh, doing some ratting and uh, my friend, corp mate of this alt, this is my main alt, Anne Frax. She, uh, she's quite naughty. She really likes killing ventures in ventures. That's a little trick. But anyway, that's besides the point. We've scanned this guy down. The whole time we, I've scanned him down and it's probably been maybe two minutes, up to two minutes that my probes were requested. out. Um, I've been on his D scan. I'd also like you to note that I'm just docking up in exactly the same heron fit that the Alpha uses. I have these little herons um, with the module switched around so I can go and combat probe anything that pops up on my D-Scan. 1.1 mil fit. I think the probes cost more. They're very handy. This could fly any number of trick lovely ships. That's the ship I use to combat scan if the buzzard's not available. There you go my uh, basic standard caracal um, skill kano is in exactly the same fit it's your standard rapid light missile launchers two large shield extenders invulnerability field micro warp drive disruptor free ballistic controls and a, a damage control um, all of those bits are tech 2 on this ship 
uh, just when you see a fit, just remember, just fit the best parts you can uh, that your skills will allow. But Tech 2 Shields and Tech 2 Rapid Light Launchers are not a long skill train, even for an Alpha, really. Uh, and these ships can do the work, and two of them can do lots of work. So there you go, I flicked you through the fit. As I've said at the, in the intro, um, I can't really narrate this footage very closely. But we're going in. He's actually in a narcotics warehouse, which is one of the hardest sites to hunt somebody down on. Um, and it just takes so long. And now there's two caracals potentially on this BNI's D scan. So uh, we're there. For, we're there to be seen. And the thing with these narcotics warehouses, which are quite often escalations for people, that's why they, that's why they come in here. The rooms are big. We've got to fly across them to get to the next gate. I have to be careful. I can't just burn over to the next gate because that's going to leave me really light on cap um, for when I get into the fight. So it's something I have to manage. And uh, if you're actually the one coming in to do the escalation, uh, your narcotics warehouse, once you're a room or two in, if you're looking at your D scan, you've got there's no excuse really for getting caught unless uh, something really odd happens to you. So that's all we can do. We can burn across to the next room. We've got to kind of pick one. There's a choice, which again makes this even more convoluted a hunt. But uh, so we're just going to go into the next room and see if he's in there. But uh, the rooms are so big, the chances are if he's off fighting in that room, he's going to be outside of disruptor range when we get in there. So is even if we land in the room with him, he should really get away. And there you go. We've landed in the next room. And he obviously hasn't been through here because he's not here and all the rats still are. So basically, I now need to walk out of the site, walk back to the site entrance gate, then burn across the first room and go through the other gate. So that's more time. <laughs> but that's what we're prepared to put into this hunt. And it's all time that this guy should be spotting us and going, oh, what are those two caracals up to? They're getting a bit close. But uh, that's up to him, isn't it? Okay, so I've gone back round and I'm in the security room just approaching the gate to the next room. Skill has gone round, but he's now a room behind me. So I've got to be even more conservative with how I use my cap to get to the next gate because I'm if I get into the room first um, and alone and know he's, you know, a little while behind me, I'm the one who's going to have to burn across the room to get the point on him. And Skill Kano, just for the record, at this point is uh, playing on an alpha account. He'd come back to the game after a long break he came into the pocket and we killed him um, and bear in mind anyone that is our friends our court mates etc um, has been killed by us that's how we meet people um, we kill you and if you're not a dick <laughs> we'll really help you out that's basically how it works so i've just landed in the last room and it's uh, been cleared and there's no vni i've just waited for skill to catch me up so at least we're in the same place and we can walk together um, or split up depending on the course of action and there he is he's still in local and on that point if you're the guy coming into a strange system uh, if you're the third person in local and the other two are in the same corp and there's two kind of fighty ships on your d-scan have a look right he's still on my d-scan i'm gonna just play with a range try to figure out how far away he is so yeah it's d-scan i'm hunting you with a d-scan and you should be protecting yourself with the d-scan you basically need to imagine you've got a uh, keyboard with a tech 2 or maybe even officer v key that is how important the d-scan is so i've looked at the signatures and i can see that there's one in range of where he's showing on the d-scan now if he's cleared a warehouse and got good loot and then gone just over to a blue uh, sorry a green uh signature site he's crazy um, if he got good loot, I would have left. But anyway, I'm just going to go and have a look on spec. Uh, and we're now, what, nearly 20 minutes into the process of being hunting and visible to this guy. And here is the VNI. And it's lots of W's in the chat box to Skill Kano. Let me just get your ass here, mate. I found him. And I just need to get He's right on the wall pin. The worst place to ever stay when you go anywhere. Um, so I've got him tackled. And he's fighting the rats. I don't get the blue combat timer. I don't remember if I'm doing this at all. If he even shoots. That means he's just not even shooting at me. He's not fighting me. Um, now I'd expect a couple of caracals to have a reasonably good fight with a, a VNI. He's obviously started with no shield. But that's because he's a, an armor tank. I, I always keep my drones on a different little overview tab. Because the way we play as you may see later. If you've got drones, <laughs> it can get very cluttered. 
So uh, I'm actually targeting his drones now, thinking about just popping those off, and then he can't really do any damage, but he's not fighting us. So the focus is on him, and I'm pumping out my rapid lights. You'll see I haven't bothered overheating. I don't really need to. Um, it's kind of a choice. Yeah, I can upgrade, uh, upgrade the burst damage, but you're going to hit the reload quicker. And with customary rapid light style, I mean, hit the reload just, just before the ship dies. So the kill mail is not mine, but that's okay. Who cares? But that happens so often with rapid light launchers for me. Um, I hit that reload and watch the guy die <laughs> while I'm not shooting him. So we loot his wreck. I can't see the way I'm having to edit this, even what that loot was. I will try to have a little look. But look at the time. That's 20 minutes we spent hunting that guy. 20 minutes. If the guy was using his D-scan, would have been aware that we're there. He's then managed to clear the warehouse and then decided just to go to a site that anyone can walk straight to with no gate. And we've caught him there. Um, so... I think we've done a good job and we've done it in two cheap ships uh no doubt our caracals are about 30 mil each but let's see how much his bni was eh and something you should think about is that i mean i know because i've done it that my alphas can clear narcotics warehouses in quite low skill caracals mowers um vexers so why bring a vni into low sec to do it um there are some ships that will get the locals out and the VNI is on that list. It's Vila, uh, VNI, Gila, Astero, um, Gnosis, and Praxis. If you you come into low sec in one of those ships, there's a good chance that you you're in that ship because you don't need many skills to get in it. So you haven't got very high skills. You may not have a very good fit, and you may not be very low sec savvy. So don't do it. Come in in cheap ships. Uh, it might take longer, but it'll actually be safer. And it's while we're doing that ratting. And while we're doing the exploration that I've shown you, that makes you so much money, you can start having fun with ships and risk losing them, that you'll learn all these basic skills of navigation, of awareness, of having safe spots, of using your D-scan, of knowing when things look dodgy, of keeping an eye on who's in local, and all the stuff that will just keep your big ship alive when that's the one you need to bring into low sec to clearly our high-end stuff. Okay, and it's me and Skill again on another afternoon um, time zone wise, um, I'm in the UK, so it's the afternoon, so it's the evening in Russia, so we get quite a few Russians about. America's at work, but Skill's not, because he doesn't. <laughs> That's not true. Um, we're off. I've just reshipped into a Kestrel. He's in a Tristan, because we're going after an Enyo that we've scanned down, and here he is. Um, 2v1, so you can see it was an unfair fight. Um, I think our ships combined cost about 16 mil in this fight they are tech two fit but again nothing hard to fit skill wise not really a lot of money uh we're going to use the fact that we got a kitey tristan and a smack you in the face kestrel fit here um it's a really good combination it also takes the pressure off me to keep a guy in scram range which can be hard this isn't a brilliant fit um and if he's got a scram on me obviously then the micro walk drive gets shut down so the tristan can keep his point on the enyo I can worry about getting in range and hitting him for as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible. Uh, the range on my rockets is obviously a bit lo longer than my uh, scram, so it works really, really well. And then the drones come in off the Tristan to uh, put in a bit more damage. And uh, I think this is a very fair fight. Uh, the guy, again, he hasn't engaged us. He, I don't know whether he hasn't noticed. I, I, I truly believe that some people don't even realise they're getting hit by us um until so it's very very too late that simple trick i've shown you in one of the videos of making sure that any player that hasn't got a standing with you shows up highlighted in gray on your overview so you cannot miss them do that all these things that i've shown you, you get, i'm telling you you've got to watch all my videos episode by episode there's a clue of how to avoid all of these situations again i've scanned the guy down he hasn't seen my combat probes on the d scan um the Tristan was on his D-scan for a while while I reshipped. And, uh, yeah, I don't quite understand why he was here for us to catch. Why he didn't engage for so long. He started to now, but it's kind of too late for him. Uh, I'm, as, and as I say, these aren't really about the technicalities of the fight. It's really about the tactics we're employing. Um, just seeing how we do it, really. And why do we do it, you may ask. You're just being horrible. No, we want these sites. You know, we want this loot. We we lose a lot of ships. We lose a lot of isk. We get 
I, I can guarantee you, gate ganked on the way to Jitter as much as anyone else. We've lost billions to the people we consider gankers, even though you may consider us in a very similar mould. But we want these sites. Any stranger, depending on what's going on in the pocket, any stranger is a potential um, warping point. A spy um, could pop a Sino. Um, and Sinos are just an absolute pain in the ass. So, you know... Anyone could be a target, and, and, and they're legitimate in the context of what we're doing. Uh, if we gate camp, it's because we want to close a gate. We don't really gate camp for kills. But if there's a reason, or we know there's war targets coming in, or something like that, we'll, we'll throw up a gate camp. You might fly into it as a completely innocent PvE player. It's not because we're after you, you just got really unlucky, sorry. Maybe you should have come in in a little ship, see what was going on in the system first, before you brought through your most expensive ship there you go we've got a little bit of loot off his wreckage nothing phenomenal seven million i can actually read this one while i'm uh, narrating nearly managed to burn my rocket launchers out during the fight uh, which i do do sometimes and here we are as usual i didn't get the kill mail skill did 53 million so on the isk front we did really well i think we well we got lucky because Unfortunately, the guy that was flying the Enyo seemed to be completely unprepared for being in low sec, being hunted and being attacked. But um, hopefully some of you may learn. We like a fight. We like people who put up a fight. Uh, we don't pride ourselves on... This is killing people. This isn't fighting people to a great extent. And we certainly understand the difference. And uh, what happens with hilarious results is when people who know how to kill things in big ships find somebody who can fight. A bit like that guy I found in the Estero in the Galante Ratin video. So here we are, another day, another hunt, and I'm out in my Drake, uh, a heavy missile Drake. Very standard fit, I'll give you a little bit more detail later. I've actually scanned down a Praxis. Um, I've then launched my friend, Heroin Face, in the Crucifier Navy issue up to get a tackle on it. Um, using fleet warp and then cancelling your ship's warp and then I've reshipped. It's a Praxis. He's using it on a data site Which I find a very odd tactic. Um, this is part of the mentality of It's big and tough. No one will mess with me. I think um, if I'm going into low sec Don't use a Praxis to hack a data site. <laughs> it's 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 not good. The bigger your ship Yeah, it's tough, but it's slow. It's easier to catch. It's easier to pin down uh, It's we can keep you there until we get some uh, DPS on the field, if we can. Uh, it's not a good idea, really not a good idea at all. That I'm in a big ship, I'll be okay mentality just really doesn't translate into the game. Uh, your D-scan is going to protect you much more than all the hit points. It takes us a little while to take off this guy. So I'm applying the DPS. Again, forgive me, I keep saying it, I can't actually see the video too well whilst I'm recording the narration because of the IT issues I'm having. As you can see up there in the top middle of the screen, Heroin Face is on my watch list. He's taking, he's taking the damage, he's repping it quite nicely. He's moving in close and fast, he's quite hard for these uh, Tech 1 drones that the, uh, the guy in the Praxis has launched against us. Uh, he's going to deal with that okay. And we just get on with slowly killing him. Nobody else around, we don't need any more assistance, we haven't called for any help. Um, and the other thing, you know, if a mob of ships then start turning up, the guy's already dead. And um, there's another kill, uh, I don't know if I've got it in this video, but, you know, we end up with probably about six or seven ships on the field killing one guy. Uh, that's how it ends, but that's not really what got the guy killed at all. Uh, that's just people whoring, basically, on the kill mails, which is a standard low-sec practice. So, again, don't take that personally. It's not the fact that the, the last four people landed on the grid that got you killed a lot of the time. It just speeded up the process. And my Drake fit here is, again, bog standard. The Drake and Caracal I fly around with, I use them for ratting and running some sites. And then if uh, there's somebody around to go and have a look at or somebody lands on me, I can kind of put up a reasonably good fight. It's, it's a balance. It's not a pure PvE fit. It's not a pure PvP fit. Um, it's just the, the standard passive heavy missile Drake that we all know and love. Not the OP monster it used to be. 125 millions worth of Praxis there. Taken down by a Drake. I think it costs about 60 mil my Drake. Crucifier I'm not sure about. But um, easy peasy. And that's the guy that came into low sec thinking he was in a battleship so he couldn't be hurt. 
Okay, now we're with the Alpha Fin Trash in his Caracal, um, which I believe is probably by this stage got Tech 2 like uh, rapid missile launchers and a Tech 2 tank. Um, this is the one I use in the Abyss, it's doing quite well. Anyway, I've been called out because you can't kill a Raven without an Alpha in a Caracal to back you up. Uh, the guys here have jumped using the Magus, this Raven off the station. And you can see there's a Confessor on grid and there's a Scythe, that's Bear. Uh, he's very good because look, he's repping me. I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna get the gate gun. Sorry, not gate gun. Station gun aggro. So you can see I'm getting a steady stream of damage being displayed on the screen from those gate guns. I've also got the Raven hitting me, and I've got my man Bear, ever dependable, the Yoda of the pocket, uh, giving me good reps, keeping me alive. I always seem to get the station guns or the gate guns. I think it's because I'm the most aggressive. Um, or I'm the biggest in this case, I think, doing the most DPS, so they've gone for me. So um, do remember, even after the kill, uh, that the gate guns will stay on you. So warping away from them can be quite a high priority. Don't sit there looking for loot and looking for kill mails. Uh, if the gate guns or the station guns are nibbling at you. So this guy's been caught. He's been jumped off the station. You can see how mad the overview is getting. I mentioned earlier that like, I keep an overview on the other alt. I need to sort one out on this one maybe now by the look of it. With all the drones on because you can see it's just a mess of drones here now. A few more people are landing on grid. The Raven is going down. He's into hull. I've got me uh, target painter on there to help everybody's damage application this was uh yeah i was pe i was clearing rats in this one when they uh, got this guy and that's how these things happen in low sec someone gets the tackle on someone puts the call out in the fleet or uh, etc and people come up and we have people come up and join in those fights in ventures why not get your drones on it what's the worst that's going to happen so a very messy kill quite a quick kill uh, but yeah, the point of that little clip really is, even if you're one of the new boys, we have to actually really encourage some of the new guys to come and join in in fights. They're like, oh, I'm not ready, my ship's rubbish. No, just get in there, and that's how you learn. Never be shy, Alpha in a Caracal for the win. And I think actually on this kill, we'll see, I got, yeah, I got decent 25% of the damage on the Raven, so that's pretty good. I'm chuffed for that. And uh, uh, quite a nice, another 125 mil kill from Vince Fenix. Now, we're outside the station. You can see we have the uh, <coughs> the evil magus, uh, the jump destroyer of Yetfar Neptar on standby. We've actually formed up here uh, because there's a bit of a, a war going on. We've got some fleet action going on. A guy's come in in a gila, uh, flown past us all and docked. And we've been out here now for a bit 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I think. Um, unfortunately, I had to like edit the clip a bit blind I, I couldn't time mark where we started uh, this guy came but we've been sitting here quite patiently he's finally undocked and just watch how quickly why he's undocked in his gila i have no idea having flown through a fleet forming up outside watch how quickly so he's jumped 100k off the station so he can't redock i as is traditional i'm getting hammered by the sentry guns because i was the designated tackle i got a tackle and opened fire on him first if you're in this little fleet using the jump destroyer, don't scramble what needs to be jumped because it won't be jumped. So uh, I'm the only one who's got a, who put a one point of a disruptor on him. So the jump would still work. But that means I get the aggro, which means I need reps from a man bear who was right there with them. So he's down that quickly. That's his gila gone. Um, the moral of the story is there. That's how quickly that can be done why dock at a station with a fleet outside it um, and then redock in your big bling gila come and have a look in your pod if you really want to poke your head outside um, and that's the story of the jump off the station and i actually mentioned coming out in your pod there and again if you're going to come into low sec um, do consider using a jump clone to have a uh, less of a liability should you get podded i mean we won't generally pod unless you've entered an engagement with us because it's not worth the minus one on the sex status we have a rough enough time managing that as it is so um yeah just think about what well, do you need that really high-end pod with all those implants in it when you might lose it um it makes things a little bit less a little a bit less stressful stressful And safely docked up, I'll finally have a little look at the key ma kill mail. It's a bit of a whopper. Uh, I can't read it quite well, but that looks like it might be 386 million. Um, 
yeah, why you didn't need to lose that shit, mate. You should have just gone for a cup of tea, gone for a walk, um, flown out in your pod and done something else, come back and got your ship later. That was a little bit of a silly move. But here's where it doesn't always go to plan. I do like sticking my neck out, as you'll know, um, especially when I'm in a reasonably cheap ship. And this is, I think, about 15 mil caracal. It's a Tech 1 fit caracal, I'm sure. Um, I've I've ratted through this system. I've got bugger all loot out of it. It's just, you know, there's an RNG factor to the whole loot thing. You can run through a system and make a 20 mil. You can run through a system and make what I've got here is, I think, 3 mil. So I've seen a stabber on my D scan, so I might as well just go and have a fight. Destruction testing my caracal, basically. I could get lucky, this guy could have no idea how to deal with this situation, and I could get a kill out of it. He might have a rubbish fit, etc. Um, maybe not, who knows? It's, a, it's my own personal RNG element of the game, is just jumping on ships and hoping for the best. Uh, you never know. So we're engaged, he's got me pointed he closes on me really quickly to get that scram on me and shut my micro board drive down. And I'm already figuring that this isn't, you know, I, this is no puppy that I've landed on, which is absolutely fine. I'm now getting new, a bit of new pressure. Um, yeah, it's not really going to plan, but I don't mind. So let's see what the caracal can do. Uh, you lose a ship, it's practice. It's a fight I probably shouldn't have taken, but I went for it. It's one of those situations, why not? And, uh... The fact that he's closed on me that quickly really, really caught me by surprise. Got his scram on me. It leaves me a little bit, you know, in trouble. Overheating the rapid lights, as I've discussed before, it's, yeah, it increases the burst damage, which can be good, but that reload is coming. And a good player will know you're in a rapid light caracal and will time their reps for your reload. Um, and there's nothing more annoying. <laughs> makes me chuckle when you burn somebody down to a certain degree you reload and they rep everything but as you can see this is going quite wrong for me it's just a matter of time my shields are almost down i'm reloading i'm not even putting out any damage my couple of drones are having a little pop um in fact i've got my drones on his drones just to try to mess him around a little bit but no this is the day we lost the caracal but there you go. it's earned so much money that it's okay it was due retirement and uh here in the sailing and pocket, we've got the only shattered planet in uh, K-Space that there is in New Eden. And we like to sacrifice rusty holes to it on a regular basis. So, yep, there's the fight I shouldn't have taken. He hasn't podded me. I gave him a GF in local and I didn't get one back. He's, he's uh, scrambled my pod. I think he's given me a good telling off. Because he does let me go, but he's making his dissatisfaction with my interruption of his ratting very clear and well he might. Active. Okay, there we are. A little bit of bonus footage here for you. There are many benefits to being in low second. One is the juiciest kind of a belt rat you're likely to find, which is a Mordu. And here is Finn Trashley Alpha in his Caracal Tech 1 Shield, Tech 1 Rapid Light Missile Launchers. We found us a Mordu Special Warfare Unit. Um, it's the frigate-sized Gamur, as you will see. <laughs> they are like no ordinary rat. Um, they also come in the cruiser variety as an Orpheus, and they come as a battleship, which would be the Barguest, I think. And basically, you kill them and you get a blueprint to build them. So you're looking at maybe 60 mil to 40 mil or about 750 mil. This is Noob Caracal versus Mordu Gamur. Just look at his reps. I'm pouring it on. I haven't started overheating yet. Um, he's actually munching my drones, if you see there. So he's not even doing anything on me yet. He soon shall be. I'm hitting him for all I'm worth giving him every missile I've got and he will just happily rep this away at the moment without a T2 rapid lights or I'm afraid certainly in this kind of situation with a caracal you're rather stuck and now that the drones are dead you see he's now webbed me and disrupted me he'll disrupt out to 30k um, I still have the backup that I can burn out of that range even with the web on me once, um, once I've burnt away from the web, then I will be able to get out of his disruption if I needed to. But I just want to see who can win the Alpha Caracal or the Mordu Gamur with his mega tank. 
Now you can take these out. Uh, so the the Orpheus is you're probably going to need a really nice Drake, or a, or a couple of mates. When it comes to the battleships, um, the only ship I've ever seen take one down solo was a really trick fit uh, Tengu. Um, or again, you just need a few of you to get in there. It's worth it. But this is what pays the bills. And there's a way of encouraging more dude to spawn, but I'm not going to tell you about that at the moment. I'm going to speed this up. Just watch me and watch his rep. This is like almost a space equilibrium right here. They're actually rarer spawns than they used to be. I think uh, CCP might have calmed them down a little bit, but uh, they can certainly be good. A battleship or two a week, you know, that's one and a half bill. And uh, it's well worth getting your mates out having a little fleet for. And you you see, we see the kill mails of people that we know who tried to solo an Orpheus, who tried to solo the bar guest. And you just see the kill mail where they failed because they didn't call for mates because maybe they were after the loot. But there you go. I have not managed to get near. And it's the reload again. Um, if you saw the reloads then, I'm about to hit one again now. And he will just rep all the damage I've done away in his reload. We are ticking towards downtime. So I'm just staying here now. I don't think I'm... Well, who, who would win? Here's the question. I need comments. If downtime doesn't happen, didn't happen, who would have won this fight? Would anyone have ever won this fight? When they're actively engaged, the Mordu won't warp away. If you've just found one and you go to reship, they may have disappeared. Okay, I hope you all found that interesting, amusing and or entertaining. If you did, please leave us a thumbs up. If you like this kind of video, these compilations and seeing some kills, let us know in a comment. And again, leave us a like, that would be great. Subscribe, there'll be more coming soon. The SSD should be arriving tomorrow and I can crack on with some more. It's been a bit of a nightmare making this video, but it's been worth it. Thanks a lot. Take care and goodbye.